seems like ages since we last spoke. So much has happened. In dealing with very trying circumstances with Jake, he was hospitalized and is in the process of moving to a long-term care facility. He accidentally overdosed and it shut down his major organs. I thought he was going to die. He's recovered to some extent. He hasn't recovered his mental faculties and the doctors are doubtful that he ever will. To think that it came to this, I can't believe it. Looks like Jake will need to be cared for in a facility for the rest of his life. Obviously, we have him in the best facility money can buy. The whole experience has made Loretta and I rethink our investing priorities. It's made us realize that we're not prepared to make these big medical decisions. I mean, at one point, the doctor even asked if Jake would want to be resuscitated. We didn't know the answer to that. We don't even know the answer to that question for each other. There must be a way to lay all this out. We also want to make a shift in our overall approach to investing. We want to make sure that we align what we invest in with our principles. Loretta is talking about ethical investing. That's right. I mean, we don't want any marijuana stocks, tobacco stocks, or alcohol stocks in our portfolios. Not after what's happened with Jake. Could you do some research on ethical investing for us and lay out what it actually means and what are our options if we want to invest that way? I'd be interested in knowing how much return we will be giving up by moving to ethical investing and how flexible the options are to exclude one section over another. I mean, I have no objection to U.S. defense stocks, and I think they offer good growth and returns. If we go down this ethical investing route, does that mean all those stocks are off the table too? I guess it's a slippery slope. What about soft drinks or candy companies? Must get confusing. I suppose you'll let us know, though, what's out there and what's considered an ethical stock and what's not. I also think you've had enough time to get to know us and our investment objective. It's time that you laid out our entire financial plan, soup to nuts, as they say. Yes. It'd be good to see it all in one place. When you're faced with something like this, you want to make sure that everything is all sorted out. We're going to be fine. Just takes time to adjust. I know, Stephen. It's just been so hard for so long. And for it to come to this... No point in rehashing the past. We need to move forward. I know. It's just hard. We've been fortunate in many ways, but as Loretta says, it's also been hard for us. We'll leave you to your work. We look forward to seeing our plan laid out for next time. Bye.